when temperatures get up well over 100 degrees like they're going to be throughout this week, it's, it's very important to stay hydrated, stay cool. Tonight we are digging into the extreme heat plaguing the state and the issues it's causing for a lot of Oklahomans. Now there are some precautions in place to help beat the heat here. Fox 25's David Chasanoff's got your back with identifying some of the cooling centers around the metro. David, how many are there that are available to the public? Adam and Wendy, og &E says it has around 60 cooling centers around the state, one of which is right here at the downtown OKC library. This, this heat is getting dangerous. While temperatures are in the triple digits, og and &E is offering cooling centers around the state. It's a vital resource. As Adam Palooka says, EMSA has responded to 22 heat-related illness calls since last weekend. But if you have to be outside, you really need to be pre-hydrating. And that doesn't mean you drink a glass of water before you head outside. That means that you're drinking 60 to 80 ounces of water uh, a day or two before you know you'll be outside. According to Palooka, loose, light-colored clothing can help as well as not drinking caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine and alcohol. Caffeine and alcohol are going to exacerbate heat-related illness symptoms. They're going to be counterproductive to help your body regulate its temperature. Um, if you can't cut them out altogether, do a one-for-one -one swap. Though the best thing you can do, stay inside. og &E's Carson Cunningham shares ways you can stay cool at home, while saving money. And one thing people don't really know is a ceiling fan actually only uses the same amount of energy as one light bulb. So you think about that, get your ceiling fans working, get that cool air moving throughout the house. He says it's also important to pre-cool your home before the 2 to 7 p.m. window when energy usage is at its highest. So if you can pre-cool your home before that window, it, your AC is not going to have to work nearly as hard to catch up when you get home and try to really ramp it up because that AC is working hard all summer long. Tips that don't necessarily apply to everyone, which is why cooling centers are available. Though Palooka offers this final thought. A cooling center doesn't just have to be something that the city opens up. A cooling center can come from your own generosity and reaching out to the people in your life who may be able to find some relief on your couch. And Palooka says right now we need to be keeping a close eye on kids, the elderly, and those with a pre-existing health condition. And we have the full list of cooling centers on our website right now. That's OKCFox.com. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.